So this is question six. This question is regarding a number theory. To me, it's kind of a um, try and error question. So the question statement is as follow. Let n be a k-digit integer. Find the minimum value of n such that the sum of fifth power of each digit is not divisible by the sum of each digit. And it just equals to a1. It's a one digit number. Okay? And what happened to a1 to the power of 5? Of course, a1 to the power of 5 will have a1 as a factor. And therefore, a1 5 is divisible by a1. So all one digit number will not fulfill the condition here. Suppose n equals to a1 and a2. Okay, a two-digit number here. Then it's well-known result that a15 plus b25 has a a1 plus a2 as a factor. And the factor is equal to a1 in order to get 5. This is a 4. And we'll have a1 for b2. We do not want this term to occur. So we will minus, we will minus a13 and a2. So from here it is a14 a2 and from here is negative a14 a2 and they cancel off. However, we will produce a negative a13 a2 square. So in order to make it disappear, we need to plus a12 a22 so that later on it can be cancelled off. And the same procedure applies and the next one will be a1 a2 power 3 plus a2 to the power 4. And because of this we will see that a1 phi plus a2 phi is divisible by a1 plus a2. And therefore, any two-digit number will not satisfy the condition. The factorization for this is actually an extension for what we already know for the power 3. That is, x cubed plus y cubed equals to x plus y, x squared minus xy plus y squared. And therefore, we should consider a three-digit number. And for three digit number, if any of the digit is equal to zero, then it will become the case like a two digit number. We don't allow a digit zero to occur in our three digit number so that the condition can be fulfilled. Since we want to have the minimum value of n, we will consider n equals to one. And because we don't consider any digit zero, we will continue with 1. Now, if we continue with 1, then we will see that the sum of the fifth power of its digit is equal to 1 power 5 plus 1 power 5 plus 1 power 5. That is equal to 3. It will be exactly the same as the sum of the digit, which is equal to 3. And equals 1 1 does not fulfill the condition. So we will consider n equals 1 1 2. So if n equals 1, 1, 2, 1 power 5 plus 1 power 5 plus 2 power 5 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 32, that is equal to 34. 34 is 2 times 17. And the sum of the digit is equal to 4. 2 times 17 is not divisible by 4. And therefore, 1, 1, 2 fulfill the condition and 112 is the minimum value of n. So 112 is the answer for question 6.